If you like 41 minute flashbacks, then you're gonna love this one 40 minute flashback. It's T-Saw Lost Backwards. Hello and welcome to T-Saw Lost Backwards, a series where I watch the television show Lost in reverse chronological order and see if I can make any sense of it. My name's Eric Everly and I'll be your warden of time and space today. Let's check on Twitter. Alright, let's get to the episode. Oh dear, it looks like Baldi succeeded in blowing up the island. Oh, never mind, there it is. A pregnant lady in a red dress washes up on the island and is shocked when she can't see her own reflection. I guess that means she's a vampire. A vampire hunter naturally shows up and speaks Latin to her, then decides, screw my oath to defend humanity from the things that go bump in the night, I want to see what a vampire baby looks like. Aping the beginning of the hunt for the Red October, they both start speaking English before the viewer can get confused and think they hit the SAP button on their remote. They have some dialogue that so bores the vampire baby, he decides to come early. Oh, that's Jacob? Unborn baby sure has been causing a lot of angst on the island. Must be the heir to the throne or something. Oh wait, there's two babies. You know what that means. That's right, it's time to kill the mother. Alright, so this has all been a flashback, so they're not even telling us when these things begin anymore. The two babies are teens now, just teening it up on the shore. They find some game of mastermind or something and decide to hide it from mother like it's a ratty porn mag in the woods. Jacob goes back home and has that stilted sort of dialogue that you have to have when you don't have any time to get to know two characters. Mother goes to other child and they talk of the nature of the universe and death, that sort of thing. So this must be some sort of creation myth. There's going to be some Cain and Abel moment between Jacob and other child. Jacob's, of course, Jacob. The other child is Black Smoke. The mother's Gaia and the vampire lady is Lilith. While hunting boars, like you do, the two boys discover some Guar fans and run to tell Mother the good news. Our whole reality's a lie! Dialogue about original sin and the fallenness of man happens, and then the boys are shooed towards the Cave of Light. Their mother must also be the mother of all exposition, so she tells the boys about the light, how it's in everyone, everyone wants to get it, but if they do, they'll, it'll go out and the boys have to protect it. And you thought your puberty was rough. Unconcerned with their new duty... Duty. A game of mastermind is interrupted by the ghost of the vampire lady. That seems unfair. You can't be a vampire and a ghost. Just pick one. She shows other child... Oh yeah, Jacob can't see ghosts. This is gonna be an issue going forward if Jacob can't see ghosts like Dr. Handsome. Anyway, she shows other child a Stone Age reenactment village. Unconcerned with breaking his fragile little mind, Vampire Ghost proceeds to unload one bomb after another. There's other people in the world. The world's bigger than the island. Your mother's not your mother. What a ship is. Other child tries to convince Jacob to run away with him and join the Stone Age Circus, but Jacob overshoots by a couple mi millennia and goes all medieval on his ass. See, I would have predicted that Jacob was the able in this situation, but I must just be biased towards blondes. Other child leaves, and Jacob and mother rehash some dialogue. Oh, and then nothing of note happens for 30 years? So that guy's grown up Jacob. Sorry, Jamie Lannister, your name is now Jacob. I guess they've learned to live in harmony with Stone Age people, because now older Jacob and other child are just hanging out. Seems odd that we could go 40 years without using somebody's name. They talk of mother and sin and magnets. Other child wants to leave, so Jacob of course runs home and tattles. Mother visits other child who, forgetting that this woman killed his real mother, tells her of his plan to do everything that she told him not to do. Kids. Having never experienced foreshadowing before, other child misses the oncoming murder. And he never even got to learn his name. Mother takes Jacob back to the Cave of Light. Using the same vagueness that allowed us to go 30 minutes without saying one of three characters' names, Mother tells Jacob what's in the cave. Oh, also, never go in to verify what I'm saying about what's in the cave. That weird communion thing happens again, so I guess that's where Jacob learned it from. They're the same now, so I guess the cup was poison and now Jacob's a ghost? 
Well, at least they'll be able to see Handsome now. Oh, it turns out Other Child wasn't dead, just knocked off long enough for Mother to blow up the mine. Or rent some heavy demolition equipment. I wonder if Handsome is going to get some ghost demolition powers. That'd be pretty sweet. Seeing plumes of smoke, Other Child runs back to find that the entire village has been Uncle Owen and Aunt Barood. Other Child returns home to take his revenge on Mother. Then Jacob comes home and resumes the medievaling. He takes Other Child to the Cave of Light and knocks him out. Other Child's body drifts into the cave and down the waterfall. Boom! Freaking called it Black Smoke! The body of Other Child is buried in the cave with Mother. Oh. And this 41 minute flashback comes to an end, with Handsome and Kate finding the pieces of the Mastermind in the cave. It's good we have all this context now. It would be very annoying to watch 100 plus episodes of this show without it. Tune in next week when all this context pays off, I'll bet. In the meantime, follow me on Twitter at Lost underscore Backwards, or my website, tsollostbackwards.wordpress.com, and of course, please subscribe on YouTube.